Hey, so I uh, tried to learn Spanish in prison. There were, there were a lot of uh, Hispanic prisoners, or I should say Latinx uh, prisoners, and uh, every time I saw them around me, I'd see them look at me, and I'd kind of look at them, and I'd be like, you know, nod my head, and, and, you know, just kind of try to get to know some of them. But I would always hear them say this one word in Spanish around me that I didn't quite understand. Uh, they would say maricón, and I didn't know what that meant um, because I, I don't speak Spanish. So um, I ended up getting close to one guy named Lolo, who was like a lookout, uh, let you use your imagination as to what uh, a lookout does. But the lookout, uh, I would pay every now and then to look out for us. And eventually I got to know him well. And I said, hey, Lolo, uh, what does uh, Mary Cohen mean? And he said, oh, Martin, uh, Martin, uh, hmm, that means uh, brave warrior. And I said, okay, cool, that, that's what I am. Uh, that makes sense. Why would everybody would be saying that when, I'm, when I come through? Brave warrior, okay, cool. And, uh, Eventually, I met another dude, um, Gordo, who didn't like me. And he was like, he looked at me up and down, kind of like me mugged me. He was like, Mericon. And I went right up to his face because I've learned to do this in prison over time. You get a little more confident. And I said, that's right, I'm a Mericon. Absolutely. I'm the biggest, baddest Mericon in this place, bro. So watch what you say to me. You got that? And he looks at me and he's like, he just walks away. And I said, yeah, damn right. That's what Maricon do. I even told somebody I was El Grand Maricon. EGM. I got the tattoo on my chest and everything. El Grand Maricon. So, um, for a couple weeks I was one running around uh, a pretty tough prison doing that. Um, I saw guys laughing at me, but I figured it was because like I'm skinny or whatever, and it's kind of like surprising to see a, a skinny white guy like really acting like hard, like the big dog, Gran Pero, Pero Grande. Uh, around the uh, around the pound. So anyway, I ended up playing, playing poker with a bunch of the guys, um, a lot of Puerto Rican guys, Mexican guys, whatever. And uh, um, one of them was a dude named Tone. He was Dominican, and uh, I was like, "Yo, yo, Tone, um, uh, you ready to play with El Gran Maricón?" And he's like, "What?" He was like more of an English speaker. I said, "I said, are you ready for for Maricón? I'm gonna put the Maricón." to you, bro, you're gonna see what Maricon is all about. He's like, bro, don't say that. I said, what? I I'm not trying to beef with you, but like, I'm that guy. And he's like, are you sure? And then Lolo had taught me something like a week ago, uh, where he said, you really wanna fuck somebody up mentally, say, yo bebo leche de hombre. I said, leche, that's milk, right? And he said, yeah, you drink a lot of milk, that's why you are a grand Maricon. I said, oh, of course, yeah, I am lifting weights. Uh, lifting the bar at the bench press and everything. So then he says, um, so Tone, I was like, yeah, you know, I hope I'm not intimidating, but yo bebo leche de hombre, bro. And he goes, bro, that means you drink man milk. I said, what? Lolo would never lie to me, dude. What are you talking about?